My name is Verna Mack, and I am a breast cancer survivor. I have been a survivor since March 5th, 2013. Before I had breast cancer, I was a full-time 28-year employee with one of the major retail companies in the Atlanta area. Usher at my church, watch my nieces, nephews, hang out with the babies, visit with my godchildren. Just normal life everybody would have, just enjoy doing fun things. I go to the Kentucky Dairy every year. Just a normal, happy life, and so I'm still a happy person, you know, but March 5th, I found out I did have breast cancer. They came in to tell me what was wrong with Dr. Robinson. I already had felt a connection with me. And when she looked in my eyes and everything, you know, and, and she turned her head and then that's when she said, oh, it's cancer. She said, but you're going to be fine. She said, you're going to be just fine, you know, and stuff. She said, don't worry about a thing. We're going to find So, you know, we, we know what to do. We got this. She was really good. She told me to scream, cry, kick, whatever I wanted to do, you know, as long as I got it out of my system and both my doctors were there with me from their strength. I knew then that I couldn't dwell on the sorrow and the pain. So then I wanted to know what the next step that we had to do, you know, where do we go from here? No more tears. I had to go visit the chemo doctor. I had to go visit the radiologist. I had to go visit a plastic surgeon. All of these was to let me know that once we start the procedure, Anything could happen to let me know what to expect. I went back to them again, and I've told them, I said, I've talked to everybody. Chemo, radiation, reconstruction, I say, what are we going to do now? I'm ready. Can we do this now? And she looked at me, and she said, you ready? I said, I'm ready to do this. And she said, okay. One of Dr. Phillips' associates, uh, she's in training, she caught me by my hand, my left hand, and I could feel her rubbing my hand. And she rubbed my hand because it was really cold in the room, and I rubbed her hand. That gave me a sense of not to be so afraid, which I wasn't afraid anyway, you know, but I knew somebody was there. And she stayed there and just kept rubbing my hand, you know. And next thing I remember, I was in recovery, and I was asking for food. <laughs> I always felt that I was more than just a patient. I felt that their, my best interest was always there, kept by the employees. Everyone always told me, you're gonna be just fine, you're gonna do good, we got you. And it made me feel so much better, you know, and it put a smile on my face, you know, because we'd always crack a joke, and i said, oh, you got me. And they say, yeah, we got you. So having cancer has not changed my life. The only thing it has done is made me a stronger person to understand and to take every day as if it was the last day. I've been given a second chance.